Hi guys, I hope you all are doing great and taking good care of yourselves. Well, today's video is something which excites me a lot because uh, it is about a Misfit GTS, the watch that I had put up a couple of videos earlier also about. Now this video is about the watch faces. I'm sure all of us like having different watch faces or playing around with the different watch faces because it is one of the experiences these smart watches let us enjoy. Now the watch faces that I'm talking about are beyond the watch faces which are already there in the app. That is the Amazfit app that we already have. We have a decent good number of watch faces in our uh, app if we go about with it and check and uh, if we go and go to our watch face settings sorry yeah there you go we end up seeing loads of watch faces which we can go and we can use on a watch and which should get us i believe throughout the year but then uh, if we like to have something beyond this now the watch faces that i'm referring to are provided by these developers around the globe who are probably developing these watch faces and sharing it on certain different apps and it is absolutely free to use now there are actually a couple of ways to go about with it now i will share with you both the ways and i will in fact do another video for doing the second way now in this particular first video i will share with you the first way to change the watch faces now i will let you know how one needs to go about with this now the first way requires us to have two apps in place that is one is your amazfit faces now we need to install this app now this is the app which people end up loading a lot of watch faces on and one can find a huge number of watch faces on this particular app now once this is there in place all what we need to do is just open it up and uh, typically how one would go about with installing an app uh, now it says if you want to uh, log in with an account or create an account at this point of time we can or or rather if you would want you can do that but even if you continue as a guest it is absolutely fine you can continue and it will show you or rather it will ask you uh, to give permissions now you can go ahead and decide now it's already detecting that i have a gts a misfit gts so there are these different watches if one has one can also use this app that is the best part about this particular app that you if you have any of these misfit watches that is the t-rex that's the latest one that is updated by huami so you can see all of these if you have these different bands you can also use this app now you can use this particular app for installing different watch faces now i have a gts and i'm going to select this and just hit connect and it it will immediately start showing me what are the watch faces available the fresh ones that are there so there are loads of these over there but uh, one can just not straight away go ahead and click on it and download it and just go ahead with uh, installing it now if, if i say download it will say it will ask me the, for these specific permissions i will say you probably using this amount now if i i just cannot just go ahead and directly install it for this i will need another app to be installed on my phone which is the notify and fitness amaze fit app you see this one what I will do is I will try and list the names of these apps also in the description so it is easy for you all to find. Now I need to install this as well. Now I will go ahead and have this thing installed. Now once this gets installed what I need to do is I need to open it up and it will again ask me for the specific permissions so you can decide what you want to go ahead with now i will say allow for this time and it will 
take its bit to load up the connect again yeah there you go and uh, it is keep while in use access yeah it's showing me if your image fit is ready to be paired i just hit pair and yeah so it's going to pair it with your watch you can put in whatever details if you want you can do that and you can just go ahead and say complete so now notification access it will ask you to keep it running in the background so you can just give the permissions you can uh there you go allow it and come back say okay and it will ask for another set of permissions and allow notify fitness for amaze fit to access for whatever you say allow now since i have used this it's in importing the settings from the previous one and it says please reopen i'm going to go ahead and open it up again there's a tutorial if you're interested you can check that because it has a lot of functions and features it so it might just be helpful if you want to check that for this time i'm going to going to ignore it it gives me a particular notice please disable power saving option and etc so i'm going to just say okay and uh, it's going to take me through these uh, set of information that if i want i can go through it and read up it says that it's even there i believe for okay all these phones whatever so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to just now this is the interface that is what it looks like now it has um, synced what days i mean whatever information was there on my watch before i was using this particular app now since i have reinstalled it for this video it's gone back and picked up those readings from there and what i need to do for watch faces basically is i just need to hit this button over here on top and then go on to watch faces now it shows certain different uh divisions or categories wherein it says my watch faces now these are certain watch faces which i had installed and used earlier so it's showing me those now it shows the top watch faces if i click open it's going to show me the watch faces i believe it's as per the ratings or as per the downloads on the amaze face app now amaze face app is the one which it gets connected with now this is the app that which he which he, we had installed now it picks up the faces from this particular app so that is the reason we needed that app to be installed as well so these are the faces that are there now typically uh one can if one likes those one can go about with this there's another category which says latest watch faces it will show you the different watch faces which are uh, most recently updated you can check it up you can hit on it and you can see how it's going to look on on your watch you can come back you can go i mean you can again go over here see for some other watch face that you would want probably this is a new one you can see how this one will look and you can just hit start to up update now what will happen is it'll 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 start uh, syncing in with your watch and it'll take its bit typically for it to load so it does take a decent bit i believe uh, 30 plus seconds that it ends up taking so now it's 100% so it does take a while yeah there you go it says sync successfully on the watch and there you go there you have your new watch face over here which you can probably see and uh, it is pretty decent uh, so now this is one of the watch faces now similarly you can play around with a lot of watch faces you just need to go back onto your app and you can again open up the latest watch faces over here or from your top watch faces which people have ranked and it's been on the top you can pick up any of these if you want this is something that you can do apart from this there are a few other ways also to go about one what you can do is you can straight away go to the app this will take you to the app that is a custom watch face app or the app that we had downloaded and i'll there's a way one needs to go about with if one wants to install the watch face from here now these are the different watch faces you will see loads there are loads and loads of watch faces over here loads and loads of watch faces now you can go to the next page and you can just pick up anything that you like and have it updated onto your phone 
Now say if you want to go ahead and install this, you will click on this, it will take a bit you need to just then come down to download come over here and then click on this link now the moment you click on to this link it will get get you connected back to your notification and fitness app now by the time you, you don't necessarily need to wait till this whole thing loads up you can just go ahead and say start update now what it will do is it will go ahead and do the same process all over again of uh, updating and there you see it's syncing up with the watch and it says update completed this will take just a bit for it to sync up. There you go, it says sync completed and there you see the new watch face. So these are the different watch faces that I'm, you know, one can play around with. Now, this is one of them. You can again go back to the same Amazfit watch face app that is Amaze Faces. And again, you can check for the ones which you like. Now there are loads of you just keep you can just keep going, hitting next, and keep going through the different pages, and you can keep playing around with the watch faces. So this is one of the ways that one can go ahead and keep updating the watch faces on their Amazfit watch. Now, of course, I mean you can always go back and click and go back to your original watch faces. You can do that. You can play around with it and uh, you know get the different option going the way regularly with your watch so yes this is one of the ways that one can go ahead and update the watch faces so please do go through these steps and let me know what you feel about this particular process or the the watch faces that are available on this particular app which is the amaze faces if at all there are any questions, please feel absolutely free to ask in the comment section and I will try and address as much as I can understand. So yes, do come back and check my other video in which I'm going to go ahead and let you guys know the other way of installing custom or uh, third party watch faces on the Amazfit GTS watch. So thank you so much guys and take good care of yourselves and goodbye.